Hello everyone, it's Dragon Platinum here, and today we are back again with yet another plain crazy video. Now today, I got recommended that I should make a bus, and I realized that I hadn't actually made a bus. So we're making a bus. Now this should actually be pretty simple, all things considered. The only thing I've got to worry about is I actually want to have enough space where I can have people in the bus and have like a lot of room to work with so I'm not sure how big I'm gonna make this but I'm just thinking if I build myself kind of a little template here really quick I don't know if this is too wide but uh, we will see so that's the side that's the other side and I guess I should make this like a little bit longer to get a better idea but what I'm trying to do is I want to have seats on my bus because obviously buses have seats and uh, I want to make sure I have enough room because it will look something like where's the half block it'll look something like this and then we'll do it on the other side as well so we put those there and put two more seats like this I think okay yeah so this is this is why I always measure things out first this, I think, is just a little bit too wide. So if I bring this in by like two, maybe it'll look a little bit better, possibly. I don't know, I'll, I'll, I'll check. I don't know, I really don't know if this is gonna work or not. I guess we'll find out, but uh, let's get to building. All right, our bus is gonna have to be somewhat long because we're gonna need to have a lot of passengers in here and I had actually started recording originally in the private server, and it crashed immediately. So I really don't know what's going on, if it's something with my PC, my internet, I have no idea. But for some reason I can't stay in the actual normal private server, that's why there hasn't been a build battle in a while, because I simply can't keep my uh, Roblox open. So it's a little bit annoying, but uh, we're working around it, and I'm hoping to improve it and fix it, so I can go back to doing that kind of stuff. But for today, we're building a bus, so we gotta focus on that right now because, uh... Am I making this too big? Possibly. I wonder if I should do the sides like this to give, like, a little bit more room so, like, you're right, not right up against the wall. I don't know if that's a good idea, but I, I do want it to, like, be a little bit more roomy on the inside and not so compact. So maybe I'll just take some half wedges... And like add a little slant to the inside. I don't know. I don't know. I'm j I just want to try out things, see how they look, and uh, work from there. But this is looking a little bit better. Yeah, I think I like this better. I just need to fix it up a little bit more, and I need to recenter it. And I also need to add a driver's seat and where they can actually enter the bus. And I actually want to have moving doors as well. That's another thing I want to use. So I've actually never used stair blocks before, but we've got one there. Now, I do need to figure out how I'm going to make this all rotate. And to be honest, I don't know. But we'll try to figure something out here. I could just do something a little bit different. And if I take... Because I don't use pistons ever. So what if I took a piston? And instead of making like a turning door, I made a piston door. Maybe that would be better. I don't know. Okay, yeah, so I was thinking something like this, so that would open, you can get in, and then it would close. Can you actually go through, like, the piston? No, you can't. Oh, you can. Well, that wasn't the thought, but, um, I guess that's a thing, too. Not what I was looking for, but why not? Okay, so we got some basic wheels on. I just want to see if this works properly. I forgot to attach the wheels. <laughs> okay, well, that's a problem. Okay, yeah, so something like this should be fine. I just need, <laughs> I just need to see about uh, making sure that the front wheels will go on just fine as well. But so far, so good. Our makeshift bus has quite a bit of speed. Looking good. For some reason it feels a bit long, but then again it is a bus, so it should be kind of a longer vehicle. I think this should be fine. Now, I just gotta obviously shape it. <laughs> I need to shape it properly, 
and I probably should have closed the door. And uh, once that's all done, we should have a pretty good looking thing going here, I think. So I've been working on the front here. We got a little bit of something down. I'm not sure if I'm totally happy with it, but we do have some things going on. So there's my seat, obviously. Why did I paint the ground with glass? Hold on, just give me a sec. That never happened. Um, and then we got all the seats in here looking good. I added like the little bump where the wheels are. So we got that. And now I just need to kind of fix up the whole bus, make it look a little bit better, and go from there. Alright, yeah, now it's starting to take a bit more shape as I'm kind of starting to shape it out a little bit more, and it's starting to look a little bit better in my opinion. So, I think this is looking good, and I don't think we're actually going to need to use any motor locks for once, so that's kind of interesting. But, we are pretty much almost done. I think this is looking good enough. I just need to add the windows and just make sure I'm generally happy with it and then I think I can I think then I can go ahead and paint it alright there we go I believe we got the whole bus shape down nicely now I just need to add the windows and then I'll give it a test because I, I still need to make, it, make sure it works I haven't tested it in a while and I actually have no idea if it still works so that's a little bit important alright Quick test drive time, I just want to make sure everything is still working fine. Um, I forgot to turn the trails off, so it looks like the bus is on fire, but that's okay. Yeah, works pretty good actually. I might uh, change a little bit of the around the wheels, but uh, overall it's fine. Now the only thing I need to worry about is the turning, which I don't know how I'm going to do just yet. I mean, I guess I could... Hmm, if I dig this part open and remove that, uh, how could I do this? I want to have it to turn, but there's not a whole lot of room to actually let me turn. So let's just see what I can come up with. All right, I've got a motor in there. Hopefully this should let me turn properly. So let's just do a quick test. That is very fast turning. Uh, let's just give it a quick try here. Eh? It, it does work. I, I won't say that it doesn't work. Is it the best turning in the world? No. But it functions properly. It's just very wiggly for some reason. <laughs> my bus also drifts. <laughs> that, is a, that is better than my drifting car, oh my god. Um, drifting bus possibly, let's go. Uh, yeah, this, this works a little bit better. Wheels at the front aren't freaking out as much. And I did add a little bit more weight so it doesn't tip over. So, I think that this is what I'm going to go with. Alright, there we go. I need to make sure I had a stop sign on the bus. Because, uh, and I've also synced it with the door. So whenever the door is closed, stop, size is, stop sign is closed. When the door opens, stop sign comes out. So that's pretty cool. Um, I think that should be good enough. I'm pretty sure that's everything I need on the bus. So... I think it's time for painting it and maybe adding like a, a few minor touches, but we're very close to done. Alright, so we're super close to being done. All I've really got to do is paint the interior, like all the seats and stuff, and uh, I, I got to add the lights on using the text, but uh, overall, this thing's looking really solid, and uh, I'm pretty happy with how it's turned out so far, I must say. I think I've finally got it to the way that I want it. So let's just do another quick test drive. I hope this works, because if I have to, if I have to rework anything, it's going to be a pain. So let's close the door. I forgot to turn off all of those uh, trails, so I'll have to do that in a second. But uh, yeah, it does look very good. And so like, let's just say we're stopping. Okay, we made it to a stop. Stop here. Open the door. That folds out. Yeah, this will work. This looks really good. Okay, I'm just going to touch up those trails, make sure that I can get no trails so it doesn't look like I'm on fire, and then I think we might be done. But yeah, this thing turned out really well. So anyways, guys, there we go. There is my beautiful school bus. It turned out much better than I thought it would if it can actually stay up. There we go. 
it turned out much better than I thought it would, and uh, I didn't even have to use a single motor lock, so that is pretty cool. But uh, overall, this build actually wasn't too difficult, and if you had been following along, you could probably make one for yourself easy enough. Uh, this is definitely one that I would like to use in a public server if, you know, my internet decided not to crash for once because uh, I could carry around everybody in the bus. But yeah, really cool build. Thank you guys for the suggestion. But anyways, guys, that's really all I've got for this video. So if you guys like this video, feel free to give it a like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, guys, it's Dragon Platinum signing out. Peace out, guys. Bye.